Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I wanted to do a video on Vine. I've been thinking a lot about Vine and Vine stars and how much I miss the app, but also I've just been so curious about what has happened to all of the big Vine stars. Like, where did they all go? If any of you don't know, Vine was a app where you basically had six seconds to just make like a quick video. There were a lot of funny people on there. There were also a lot of not funny people on there and it died, I think it was back in 2017 or something. I'll put the date if I'm wrong. And since then, most Viners have migrated to YouTube, but I feel like there's also a lot that have settled around Instagram and other apps just ever in between. But I thought that it would be fun if maybe as a collective, we look at some Vine stars in specific and see how they're doing post Vine. Now I'm gonna be honest, there is a very specific genre of Vine star that we're gonna be looking at today. And by that, I mean the ones that were not funny. Now, the reason that I want to look at unfunny ones in specific is because it shocked me that they got to that level of fame on Vine in the first place with the content that they already had. So I'm very curious as to how their content has fared on other platforms and if they've been able to, I guess, repeat that fame or keep their fame going. Of course, before we start the video, we have to do this week's sweaty shout out. This week, it goes to Franny Sandin and she sent in this video. Besties too. Just like K Money said, I guess we're just too much for you. Who the fuck is K Money? <laughs> if you want to get a sweaty shout out for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which makes you a sweaty, and then follow me on Instagram and DM me your favorite meme of the week there. And yeah, you might get chosen. The first one we're gonna look at is obviously our girl Lele Pons. If you don't know who Lele Pons is, you're very lucky. But those who do know who she is, you need a bit of a refresher on the absolute classic she gave us with Vine. Here are a few examples. So, um, yeah, not that funny. Now, Lele has since moved on to both YouTube and Instagram, and on Instagram, she has 36 million followers, and then on YouTube, she has 14 million subscribers. But first, you know, let's check out what she's doing on Instagram. Isn't that a member of the vlog squad? <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to react to this video. The caption's even more confusing because you would think she'd put something like, when you see a hot guy, even though absolutely no one does this when they see a hot guy, but instead she just put, hot guy alert, wait for it, dot dot dot. You know what though, maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Everyone has a bad sketch or a skit, like maybe she has changed her content since Vine. Okay, this one's called sharing a room with your sibling. This is some relatable ass content if I've ever seen it. You know when you're just laying in your bed and all of a sudden one of your siblings comes in and is hooking up with someone and you, while laying in your bed, watch them undress completely and then as they're falling on top of you, they haven't noticed you and you haven't said anything, then you decide to go, get out of my room. So relatable. We also have that girl who only has guy friends. Hey Lily, come out with me and the girls. Next time. Yeah. Guys, I fucking love burping so much and I also pee in a urinal as well. I like hate wearing makeup and I also like love sports so much. She also has this gem that's titled, When You Don't Like To Be Tickled. Hey! Oh, you wanna play the tickle game? <gasps> Maybe a little bit right there. Oh. The weird thing about Lele's Instagram videos is that you can tell by the way that they've written the script, or I guess just delivered the script in the video, is that they leave spaces at least four or five times for the viewer to laugh. Like they're expecting the viewer to like throw in a little giggle, like they're expecting a little <laughs> But even knowing that I'm supposed to laugh, it's just not funny. Now beyond Instagram, she also has a YouTube channel, so I thought that we could look through that as well. And um, the first one is My First Party. 
Hey, loser. Do you know where the frat party is? At 11 in the morning? Hey, loser, we're just eight hours before this frat party's happening, but where is it? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go back to your homework. <laughs> Ew, it's such a loser. Can I just say nobody talks like this? Like, literally ever? Also, I have to say that I love the audio touch where the nerd sounds like she's hammering away at her calculator like it's her phone. Such a loser. And it keeps going even as she's walking away and her thumbs are clearly not on it. Uh, guys? There's a frat party tonight. What's a party? It's like a gathering of like popular kids and stuff. I have an idea. How about we go to the party? I think we're pretty cool. Who writes this? I know that his common knowledge that Lele Ponza's skits are not good, but when you think about the process of putting the script on actual paper and looking at it, how the fuck did they all read it over and go, yep, yeah, this sounds like a great idea. This is your chance since he's single. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no. I'm not gonna do it, can't convince me. I'm staying right here. If you don't here, go, no I'm gonna take away your calculator for a month. Oh my God, what will I do without my calculator? Because I'm a nerd and I can't live without my calculator as a nerd. Okay, let's go. You, you do it. Mm -mm. No, you do it, you, you touch it, touch it. Touch it. No, no, don't do it. it. I hate to say it, but you know when we say like, I'm baby? That's actually baby. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Who invited you guys? So sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. What time is it? 11 a.m.? Like they couldn't even commit to just having the party at night and filming it then? Get in lit at 11 in the morning. Let's get it, guys. <sighs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Weren't you the one that suggested this? Okay, here's my chance. I love how the way that the guy is positioned and the way he's like moving his head, it looks as if he's talking with a ghost. <laughs> no, right? I know. So what are they doing? They're dancing. What's... No, you just move your body. No, you, you got this. Come on, go in there. Move your body. All right. Why am I not surprised this bitch is Cirque du Soleil in the middle of this living room? Like, why am I not even surprised at this point? No, no, no! Oh, oh. nice! Yeah. What kind of game is this? Just to take the ball, get in their cup, they drink. Can I try? Yeah. Swatch it. Don't hurt yourself. Let me take a wild guess here. She's gonna get the ball in. I have to say, one of my favorite things to do at a party is um, arm wrestle. Just the entire night, I just arm wrestle non-stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like a pretty accurate depiction of going up to someone you like. We'll move on to the next one. The next one's called We're Having a Baby, and lucky for us, this is actually a collaboration between Lele Pons and Hannah Stocking. Oh my god! Is that a girl or a boy? It's a... Uh, it's a girl. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. When does it do? In about two or three weeks. Ah! That's so soon, congrats! Oh my god! When are you due? Let me take a wild guess that she's not actually pregnant. You beg your pardon? Bust, must, must increase your bust. Am I really pregnant? No. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Is anybody there? I think that the person that you just talked to two seconds ago would would be there. Hello, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hi, your daughter. Oh, you're at the dentist. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, but, but your daughter's, uh, hello? <gasps> no one should ever be bothered in the dentist. I'm sorry, do you have anybody else I can call? All I have is you. Shut up! Okay, I'm gonna call the okay, therapist. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna call anybody. Your phone just ran out of battery. What? Why is every Instagram comedian so loud and aggressive? It seems that all of the Instagram comedians seem to think that the louder and more annoying that they are on camera, the more funny they're gonna be when in reality, they just keep being louder and more annoying. And so dear, that's how I met your mother. 
and then became your stepmom. All of that for that? She also gives us some dating tips though with how to date a gamer. Whoa, whoa, who is that? Oh, that's Eric, he's not your type. What do you mean he's not my type? He's like a nerd. What type of nerd? A dragon nerd. I'm gonna get his attention. Eric! Eric! Yeah, a little higher. He looks so good. What? Don't you ever get in those situations where you're trying to get a guy's attention that you like and someone tells you what his name is and you scream it even though you don't know who he is and when you finally get his attention he looks up, you pretend to start taking selfies. He left! What? Shocker. Do you have his number? Give me his number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to the pictures. Got it? You read it. And he ignored it. Because you're a random person. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder what she would have hypothetically texted him. Like, hey, um, I just saw you across the street. I tried to scream at you and you didn't pay enough attention to me. Um, so now I'm texting you. No, I'm gonna play. No, you should get it. It's really cool. You can collect different kinds of dragons. You can even breed them. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't the brown haired girl just saying a minute ago how she didn't like video games or she was talking about them negatively and now she's like, yeah, it's so cool. Oh, take a picture of me. Yeah. Is this an ad? Got it. Here. Wait, she plays this game? What? I thought you guys don't know each other. But I can beat you. You're gonna beat me? Yeah, if I beat you, you have to go on a date with me, all right? All right, and if I beat you, you gotta leave me alone. Okay, deal. Why would you want to go on a date with someone who's part of the bet if they win is that you leave them alone? Okay, this video is way too centered around this game for this not to be an ad. Oh, there it is. The final YouTube video we're gonna look at from Layla is I'm in a sorority. All right, ladies, welcome to Kapanunu. You know what, this is a good time to ask. In Canada, we don't really, the sorority thing is not that big here. Can an American who's been in a sorority please explain to me what the fuck that paddle is for? Because my thought immediately goes to like hitting someone if they do something wrong. Oh, hey, hey, five, six, seven, eight. We, we are, are the Kappa Nunus. We're pretty and we're pretty. We don't accept the losers. We're the Kappa family. You're telling me that this video exists and this was the best kind of joke rendition they could make of it? So in order to join our Kapanunu sorority, you have to complete three trials. The first one is the popularity contest. Ladies, let's see your Instagram following. 7,000. 4,000. 1,000. Oh, actually 999 now. Yeah, you gotta go. What is this, beauty con? The second task is a pajama party. It's gonna test your strength both physically and mentally. If there's anything testing my mental strength, it's this video. Anyway, pay attention ladies. This slumber party is to test your strengths, both physically and mentally. Yeah, I think, I think we know that. You just said it 10 seconds ago. Um, it's 5 p.m. So? At least in this one they address that it's daytime, but it also still is confusing why they continue to shoot these at daytime. They then proceed to have a pillow fight montage that is way too long, and then they move on to waxing. Everyone does this. This is the second task. Ah! You got these two hot college boys coming. Whoever gets their attention and all their money wins. Ah. Why are you drinking the dirty soap water? You, you don't have to drink the dirty soap water. We can't beat them, so we dance battle. We can't dance. I know someone who does. I've never really seen nobody move like that. She's I her. love how you move like that. Oh, show me how you make your body move like that. Go ahead and make you move like that. I've never really seen nobody move like that. I love how you move like that. Oh, show me how you make your body move like that. Hey, yo, DJ, bring that back. Where is this video going? Clearly, even though I am very confused by Lele Ponza's content, um, a lot of people aren't, and she seems to be doing fine post Vine. So with that in mind, let's check out one of her friends, Hannah Stocking, and see how she's doing. So Hannah Stocking is also on Instagram and YouTube. She has 17 million followers on Instagram and 6.5 subscribers on YouTube. One of her Instagram videos actually features Bad Baby, or Barbie, however <laughs> the fuck you pronounce it, um, in this video that's captioned, that friend that's not that friendly. Hey, oh my god, who are you? So this is my friend, she's very talkative. Hi! 
Hi, how are you? I'm Hannah. What's your name? Where are you from? Like your piercings. Yeah, very talkative. She just doesn't talk? This never happens in real life. The only time that this would actually happen in real life is if the person that's not that friendly is like two years old and doesn't know how to form a sentence. I can't with this girl. Okay. All she does is roll her eyes at me. Listen, I know, I know, not, but I've tried everything. She'll stop, she'll stop. Hey, what's up guys? Oh my God, is it stuck? Um, okay. Is it stuck? Can you do that again? <laughs> what the fuck? She has another one called, who else sleeps like this? I'm so excited you're sleeping over. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Leave Lily Allen out of this. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica. I hate it when in the middle of the night I just start doing the jig in the living room. It's just every single night I just can't stop. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica here I This video is actually a great example of how some Instagram comedians will embed smaller jokes that have already been successful online within their video so that they can get like at least one cheap laugh out of the audience like the whole oh my god like sleepover when your friend doesn't give you a blanket and you have to like sleep with a piece of toilet paper like it's a joke that's already been used and it's already been very successful online so it's like she kind of went okay like we'll put this in so if nobody laughs at the whole video maybe they'll laugh at this old joke Another thing I've noticed with Instagram comedians is they'll take tweets and then essentially just turn them into a video format with terrible delivery. Kids are vaping, can you pick me up? There's two things already in this joke that don't make sense. First of all, nobody was vaping. Second of all, you looked very excited to be there. And then there's this part of the video. This is straight up erasure. Like we all know this is a bootleg version of that vine with the golden retriever in the van while well, what a feeling plays in the background. What a to be right it also turns out that that guy from the vlog squad isn't just in Lele Pond's videos, he's also in Hannah's stockings. The paycheck has to be good. There is absolutely no fucking way it isn't. I also don't understand this bit at all. Like, she got ready as if she was expecting somebody. Was she expecting that the guy was gonna go to the wrong door? Was there like a part where she made him think that that was the right door? Like, what is- I- what? Of course, her YouTube channel is more awful content, just in a longer format. She has a four minute long video that is basically just a wish ad called Your Wish Is My Command. So essentially the ad follows Hannah and the other girl and they're like going through the stores and they're like, wow, everything's so expensive. We can't buy anything for a hundred dollars. And then they come across the wish app. Yeah. What? Whoa, everything is so cute. This stuff is actually legit. Wow, sunglasses, purses. They literally have everything. Wow, it's so affordable. I legit could go on a shopping spree with my $100 here. I'm adding so much stuff to my cart right now. Thank God I have Wish, my favorite place to get clothing. Um, it's only 50 cents for a scrunchie. Wow, I can definitely afford that with my $100. Next, we're going to look at Peaks, who has 2.2 million followers on Instagram. And he also has, I think it's, hold up. S um, sorry, not 16, 19,000 followers on YouTube. And he seems very adamant about letting everyone know that he has 9 million Facebook followers. We have actually talked about Peaks recently in my last video about Bang Energy, and it turns out that he's made yet another ad about that stupid drink. All right, man, I'll catch you later. Peaks, look out! Ah! Oh, hold on, man, I got you! I'm holding on! Just grab my other hand and I'll pull you up. I can't! Why? My bang! Just drop it! No, it's too damn good! Okay, dude, I can't hold on much longer! I can't! Okay, well, it's your life for the bang! I wonder what he's gonna do. See ya! Ah! 
I love the first comment. Not laugh. Didn't funny. He also seems to be trying to take the TikTok format and putting it on Instagram. I can't even fake laugh to this because I don't even know what kind of laugh I'm supposed to produce like after watching this. Like, is this like a ha 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 or like a ha ha or like maybe one of those like it's just weird that 90% of his comedy has to do with cheating on people. Like he even has another one where he goes when you get caught in a lie. Who the hell's panties are these? Ooh, that's a tough one. You have 45 seconds and three lifelines. I'd like to ask the audience. All right, let's see what the audience thinks. Audience? Let me get the 50-50. Okay, let's take out two of the incorrect answers. Wow, that was like so funny. I don't understand, like, where is the point in this that I'm supposed to laugh and be like, haha, like that was funny. Like, at what point was I supposed to be laughing? There's also videos like these. Peaks is 100% the type of guy that is all up in Dan Bilzerian's comments being like, yo, you're the man, like you are so fucking cool, like you're my idol. While Peaks hasn't been able to amass a similar following that he has on Instagram to his YouTube channel, he still has some videos on there and they are worse. Hey, you look like a trainer. Could you tell me if I'm doing this right? Proceed, yes, yeah. Oh my god, I hate this. He's so creepy. It's creepy. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's a joke format. Like, this is weird. This is not even joke worthy. It's not funny. It's just fucking weird. And he looks like a creep. Am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a friend who's a trainer too. He, he, he's gonna, he's gonna, I'll be right back. Mama, mama, you not broke up. Oh my god, I can't watch this. This is so fucking weird. Can you imagine this guy like casting the girl for this bit and being like, yeah, um, I'm just gonna stare at your ass for like a minute. Is that cool? So I guess the joke here is that he's like getting his friend and being like, yo, he's a trainer too. Like we'll both watch. And then they just repeat the exact same joke again and then stretch out the joke for another ridiculously long amount of time that makes it even less funnier than it was before. But if you thought the Peaks was only good for unbelievably creepy content, he also has a video called When You Use a Shower That's Not Yours. Hey man, can I use a shower? My dad's been a real dick at the house lately. Oh yeah, no worries man. Oh, just a uh, heads up, it can come out a little hot. Yeah, I mean, how hard can it be to use a shower? I'm not gonna burn my dick off. Don't talk about your dick. I don't wanna hear about your dick. I'm trying to watch. Non-dick stuff. Let me guess, he's gonna burn his dick off. <laughs> Are showers really that hard? Like seriously. Now we're losing the dick! We can't lose it! This is the stupidest thing I've ever watched. The final video we're gonna watch from Peaks, because honestly, I cannot handle watching any more of his content, is Girls vs. Guys, the first date. Okay, okay, okay. So he called me over, right? And I went to his house and he was just like really sweet. This was pointed right at my dick. Oh, he had like champagne. Girls will believe anything you put in a champagne bottle. Like really, really oh, nice. I was just about to say, he's such a dirtbag. Who watches this shit? And then I realized, probably the other dirtbags in the world. The next one we're gonna look at is Amanda Cerny, who has 25 million followers on Instagram. She does have a YouTube channel, but it's not really focused on skits. So we'll just look at her Instagram videos. Baby, let me take a shower. Okay. Is she gonna check his phone? The fuck am I kidding? Of course she's gonna check his phone. Whew. See, babe, I took a lot of shots, but that one. Babe? Gee, I wonder what happened. You would think that this video is a couple months old because this joke is so unbelievably overdone, but no, this is literally from last week. She also has this jam on her Instagram where I guess that she has a podcast and she'll do like little previews of the podcast. And I came across one where she had Logan Paul on it and we got this clip. Would you take a bullet for your mom? Nah. 
Logan. Ugh. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's your honest truth, but Logan. Um, My mom's mom. a sweetheart. I love her, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I got a lot of life to live. Yeah, okay. I don't... Uh, Sorry, hey. I'm the only real one in this room. I would yeah, literally... Amanda, you take a bullet for your mom. Why am I not surprised that Logan Paul, of all people, is the type of guy that would go, no, I'm not going to take a bullet for my mom. She's older than me. She's lived more life than me. She also has this video where it's captioned, a smile is the best makeup any girl can wear. Ready? Yeah. All right, guys, get together. A little bit closer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's I good. Like okay. Right. Okay, cool. You guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Smile! Where's the joke in this? Like, what What am I supposed to be laughing at? Oh, I get it. She's smiling funny. You know what, though? She has to have a good video somewhere. She has 25 million followers on Instagram. This video has 6 million. It's captioned, I love a good dinner conversation. This has to be good. This place is really good. Where are we going? Well, today I met this guy at the gym, massive dude, right? Um, deadlift, like six- I don't even know what to call this. You know what? Maybe I'm not at the intellectual level to understand the true humor in this video because there are some people that do find this funny. One person commented, like it really very funny. I like it really very funny. The last one we're gonna watch from Amanda is called Personal Crisis. I have a team. Hey, I'm outside. I have a- a little bit of a personal crisis? Really? Get a mic! Yeah, I have a bit of a personal crisis right now. What do you mean a personal crisis? What are you talking about? I gotta take um, my cat to the cat hotel because I have nobody to watch him. Poor thing. Let me take a wild guess here that the cat isn't actually a cat. It's just somebody meowing. It's fine. I gotta go. Bye, baby. Okay, you can stop now. The final person that I want to look at is actually Curtis Lepore. You may actually know him though as the biggest piece of trash that came out of Vine. Bestie check. Tag two friends you would do this with. This gum kind of tastes weird. Really? Let me try. Huh. It does taste kind of weird. Here, you can have it back. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna try. It does taste kind of funky. It's like pizza. Wait, let me try that again. No, don't do this again. No. This is just disgusting. He has another one where he's like clowning girls for just talking. And it's called When Your Girl Tells You About Her Day and she's just like blithering and whatever. And it's basically just music playing in the background while he makes a bunch of confused faces. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever watched in my life. Maybe it's ba Bali. No, maybe, uh, wait, I think it might have been. No, yeah, it was Coast Movie. So like, you just But what's even better is that you can tell how much effort Curtis puts in his videos with the second video he put, he didn't even bother to clip the part where the guy says action. Okay, so I think that the reason that we're- What is entertaining about this? Of course, Curtis is one of those Instagram comedians that sees a funny tweet, steals it, and then tries to use it for video content, and it's neither funny nor entertaining. This one is specific, is called Granola Bars. I'm gonna give you guys one guess on what the joke is for this one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's the crumbs, guys. Do you ever have that where you open a Nature Valley bar and there's just crumbs everywhere? Oh my god, like what am I gonna do with all these crumbs? For Curtis's YouTube channel though, it seems he took a bit of a hiatus. One of his most recent videos, or I actually think it's literally his most recent video that was posted back in June, is called Why I Left YouTube for So Long. Hi, I'm Curtis Lepore. You might recognize me from my funny videos on YouTube. Every day, I'm getting stronger. Yeah, I fall down sometimes, but I make sure that I pick myself back up. This is genuinely painful to watch. To keep it brief, it seems that Curtis Lepore approaches comedy in the same way that a Neanderthal would. Well, that was a trip. You know what? I have to say, after looking at all those Viners, maybe Vine dying wasn't the worst thing in the world. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me outside of YouTube and 
on my Instagram. I always forget to mention this while filming. Um, on my Instagram, I have my Music Mondays. So if you miss that series on my channel, I'm doing it there on my stories. So the next episode or whatever segment of it is gonna be up tomorrow. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.